Hey everyone, welcome to a video I've been meaning to do for a while now, an introduction to the testing mode on ASP. Okay, the testing mode has been put in here to, to help you with any uh, setup problems you may have, identify any issues, and it also forms an important part of the quality control process I have for ASP. So every ASP board before it is shipped, it is put through this mode to make sure that everything is working before it is shipped. Okay, so that's you know you you know you're getting an, a board that has been has been tested as as much as possible and will not be DOA on arrival. Okay, so how do we enter ASP testing mode? What you need to do is of course install your ASP, connect everything up that you want to test, and um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but you need to remove the Juno soundboard because to enter uh, testing mode these pins here need to be jumped so you need to grab yourself a receiver bind plug and insert it on these pins here okay let's see there which pins are, are jumped okay when you turn power on with that plug there ASP will automatically enter testing mode now two other well a couple more important things to do remember what you should do as well is your Airsoft IR switch, you should push that into the up position, which is of course the IR mode. Now when you go into the up position, it makes this output, this set of pins here, an output. Okay, Rather than receive signal from the micro, micro switch input, it sends that particular pin on the microcontroller here as an output. Now the reason we do that is because we can connect one of these diagnostic LCDs to the recall servo, what's named as the recall servo uh, port. I'm going to have to rename that because people are getting confused and are putting a, a recall servo directly into that port. No, you need a servo board there beforehand and in a, a, a video to come I'll explain the reason why. But this is again another indication of why this is so is because this port has multi-functions uh, in this particular case it's going to run our LCD rather than a servo okay so once you've done all that jumped into IR mode by pushing up and connected to an LCD you don't have to connect the LCD but it certainly um, lets you know what's going on once you've done all that it's time to turn your unit on now as this test will also check the signal from your receiver. So connect up your radio and your receiver and it will display the pulse widths on your LCD. Okay, so you can test for four channel, six channel and seven channel operation modes as well. I think we're, I've waffled on enough. Time for me to, to turn it on and I'll try and quickly run through everything as it happens. Okay. So we turn on, of course it does test the LCDs, LEDs straight away. Uh, main motors will, first thing, main motors will go forward. So make sure that your tank is up off the ground and then the motors will reverse. You can just barely see the tracks up here I guess. Then it'll check your elevation motor. Now of course if you've got one of those cyclic motors, uh, you won't really have up or down. Um, it'll just cycle through which is of course what is happening here I don't have a specific up and down set up in there it'll then test your turret motor now of course it's important then when you do this test is to have your turret forward uh, you don't want it spinning around there and, and catching on the thing to stop it going 360 unless of course you have a 360 turret checks your airsoft motor checks your smoke motor It'll then check this. Uh, it'll then check your um, Asia Tam recoil, machine gun test, your auxiliary light test. It'll flash your headlights. So you can see the headlights flashing. I might just have to. There we go. They will flash, and then your. Oh, just caught that in time. It'll then check your um, reverse lights. Now, as I said, it'll go through your uh, receiver your receiver channels, and what you want to be seeing is in 150, 
you neutral which is neutral across all your channels. So we have channel one is 150, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And this figure here is the number of times the um, unit has gone through checking. Now you can wiggle the sticks around. I'll just wiggle my sticks around. And as you can see, you can see the values changing there. It goes to about 60 and then the procedure will be over. No errors. Seven channel operation seems okay. We're all good to go with this ASP unit. Thank you.